Hi friends, this is social studies for the week of May 4th through 8th. Um, this assignment is called Responsibilities of a Free People. So in this assignment, you are thinking about why people have to limit their freedom. Yes, that's right, you have to limit your freedom. So in order for everybody to live in a safe environment, an environment that is as fair as possible, we must limit our own freedom. So I'm going to share this page with you and read to you the story. <coughs> the story, excuse me. Responsibilities of free people. This is a civics question in social studies. So let's read activity one, our reading for today. The people of our country believe strongly in individual liberty. This means that individuals are free to say and do things, but there are a lot of people who live in our country. If everybody said and did anything they wanted, things could get dangerous. For instance, <coughs> what if everybody wanted to set fires? A lot of people would get hurt and their property would be damaged. So every citizen living in a free society must agree to limit their own freedom. In fact, it is a responsibility of citizens in our country to limit our freedom so that others are safe. In other words, there are things we should do and should not do even though we are free. Now is a very <coughs> good time to think about this. There is a serious pandemic going on. A pandemic exists when there is a disease all over the world. If we do not fulfill our responsibilities, many people will get sick. So here are the questions. Number one, what is the main idea of this reading? <clears throat> the main idea of the reading is and you're going to go back, you're going to look for evidence or details within the text that lead you to the main idea. What is the big idea? What is the main idea that the author wants us to understand about responsibility? Number two, we're going to read just paragraph three, which is this short paragraph here. It starts with so. We indent for each paragraph. So the, this is the first paragraph. This is the second, this is the third, and this is the fourth. You're going to go to the third paragraph, and based with, on what you read, you're going to write a good definition in your own words about the word responsibility here. Activity two. You're going to create a list of responsibilities that people in your house have during this virus pandemic. For example, one responsibility might be to wash your hands. So number one, that was the example, wash your hands a lot. There are spaces to write four more. Activity three, create a list of things that people who live in a free society should not do during a pandemic, even though they are free. For example, people should not cough without covering their mouths. You should do the Dracula cough. So things that people should not do, number one, they should not cough without covering their mouths because they could spread germs. I'm going to stop here. So in this lesson, you're learning about uh, your responsibilities as a citizen here in America, especially during this time of the pandemic. And limiting your freedom is a way to be a responsible citizen. Thank you.